All right, so uh, we can turn this one off. Uh, we're going to be seeing if we can't calibrate the voltage output on on this one here. And so we will go to uh, operate. Let's see here. Let's make sure we're yeah, 100 volts. So it's 100.1, and we want 100, right? So we're going to try to calibrate this thing. I did I did print out the calibration routine now. In order to calibrate this thing, you have to unlock it. So in the back, there's this little butt, little hole here, actually, cal lock. And you need something insulated, and you can push in there. And you can feel whether it's a click in, click out type of thing. So you push it, and it clicks it in. Push it again, it comes out. And then you can test it how far it came out. So this feels like it's in, and now it feels like it's out. When it's in, it's in the cal calibration mode. Uh, it's in the book here called Cal Lock Switch. Okay, see so here. It's disabled when the switch is in the out position. Calibrate what cannot be performed. All right. Okay, so warm up period. We've had it warming up. Front pallet calibration. Uh, this is for current mode. And here we go. Calibration for voltage set. Make sure source is in standby. Okay, while in standby, collect. Okay. Set the V source in the 50 volt range. Okay. So 50 volt range. I guess it's, I don't think it's in the 50 volt range. Let's see here. Note by keep by pressing the da, 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 okay we hit, hit this one there we go now we're in the 50 volt range because we only have two two dots okay place it in operate which it is an operate place the V source and operate plus press the menu until we get to cal. Calibrate Cal V source. That's where we want. Cal V source. We want to set that to yes. Then we press menu Cal lock. Okay, so we need to um, do the little buttony push thing on the back of this one. Okay, this one actually had a little sticker over the cow hole. <laughs> so menu. Here, hit menu again. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I didn't do it right. We need to change the stuff. Yes, and then hit it. There we go. Now we have to do set zero. Okay, adjust the V source output to measure zero. Okay, adjust the source to measure zero. All right. So, uh, okay. Oops, I'm going too far negative. I'm watching over here. There's zero. Here or here? I say here. Uh, okay, and then what do we do? Then press the menu. Okay, set positive. Okay, positive full scale. Adjust the V source output to measure 50 volts. It's 50.05. All right. Uh, so we need to lower it. All right, 50. Uh, okay. And I think we want, I think we want some more 
digits that this little meter can handle. So I'm going to move, move my, move over to my other meter here on the bench. Yeah, it's 50.008. So lowering it down. Okay, 50.000. Okay, 50. Press the menu. All right. And Press menu, calibrate the 50 volt range at full scale. This will exit calibration mode. Okay. I think we are, oh, wait a minute. I think we're okay. Let's see here. Set the V source to output zero. Okay. Uh, okay, now we need to set it to the 100 volt range. Yeah, now we're at the 500 volt range. Okay, and we are zero. Okay, press and release the menu until we get to the cal source. Okay. Calibrate V source. Yes. Set zero. Sorry, this isn't on camera, it's over here, but you'll have to trust me. Okay, so we want. Okay, that's too far. 30. That's negative. Right now it's measuring minus 29 millivolts, minus 9 millivolts, and 0.8 millivolts. Okay, so that's good. Now we hit menu, and we need to do 500 volts, and we're measuring 500.58. So we need to lower this 499.99. Oh, there we go. 500. All right, press menu. All right, so we should be calibrated now. Should be that's all there is to it. So let's uh, let's go back to this meter here. Let me get rid of my 500 volts so I don't do that myself. Okay, put it on this one so you guys can watch. All right, so 100. There we go. 200. 200. Perfect calibration. Look at that. 300. 400. 500. Takes a while for it to ramp up. Four nine nine. Anyway, really good. Let's go back. Negative, negative two. Yeah. So there's. All right. So that was easy. That was very easy to do. So now this has a very good calibrated voltage output, and I already liked the current output. There is a whole section in here on on how to do the current from the front panel. Uh, might want to do that someday. Let's see. What do I need to do? Um. I need to be have I need to have a whole bunch of calibration currents, which I don't think I can supply. 1.9 nanoamps, 19, 190, all the way up to 1.9 microamps. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can do that in my lab right now. Anyway, so I'm just going to leave that alone. But we now have calibrated voltage output. So then the next thing to do is go back and push the little cal lock so nobody can uncal it, and you'll be ready to go. Thank you.